Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to draw to uh, the default tooltip for Windows Forms. So let's create a new Windows Forms application. And we're going to add a class. I think the hotkey for that is Shift Control C. Nope, Shift Alt C. Yes. I've been meaning to use that more often. Okay, we're going to call this my tooltip. And it's going to derive from the system.windowsforms tooltip. There's another tooltip in the, the system windows controls namespace. I do believe it probably doesn't resemble this tooltip at all. So I wouldn't try this on that tooltip. And we are going to define our own constructor now. So we're going to specify a default color for the back color. So now that we're going to do an owner drawn tooltip, we can actually use the back color for something. Well, it will already be used. So it's going to be black. And this top four color is going to be white. Or maybe lime green. And this dot under draw will be true. Now that we're doing an owner draw and tooltip, we need to hook to the draw method. Not the draw method, the draw event, which is a method. Well, the, its handler is a method. That's insignificant. Let's continue. Um, so with the draw tooltip event arcs, you have some control over some stuff. Not too much though, so you have the associated control and associated window, which is the same thing in our case. They're both going to be the form and the bounds of the tooltip window that is shown. And then you have some methods to draw stuff. Uh, I would recommend using this the draw text method to draw text because you don't have to concern yourself with positioning the text or anything. You have to understand that you have no control over the size of the um, tooltip window and that's why you'd want to um, use draw text because the tooltip window is automatically sized to the text. Okay so you get your font here and a graphics object to draw your own stuff. Okay so we're going to draw background and that's going to draw it's just going to clear the background so that it's the color of the back color property. And then we do draw text. Well, we could do draw border if you want to. And I don't think you can really draw your own border effectively because the tooltip window has a rounded region and the region is probably determined by the um, theme of the OS of Windows. So if you were to draw your own border, it may not look right on another person's machine so just use e dot draw border and after that draw text that will draw the text using the four color property and you may want to draw an underline or something so we can use the graphics object to do that I'm going to draw a line green underline And we're going to use the bounds object to get the rectangle. It's just going to allow us to get the size of the tooltip. So we're going to use this dot height takeaway four and e dot bounds you know, width. And then we're going to use this again. And I'm hoping that will look right. So let's add the tooltip to our designer here and then add some tooltip text to the form so there's the tooltip and that's all folks see you later